Hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial and in this video I'll be showing you how to build an AFK fishing farm for Minecraft 1.11. Now these fishing farms can produce a serious amount of loot including name tags, saddles, enchanted bows and even mending books as well as a lot of XP. Now fortunately these were broken in snapshot 16w33a and right now we are in the world download for Panda 4994's classic fishing farm. Now some of you are going to point it out that Panda has made a smaller fishing farm However, that one isn't as reliable as this one. If you are playing on a server, it can run into some issues. In single player, it is fine, but this one will work on both single player and on a server as well, which is why I've chosen it to be fixed. Now, what broke it was a change to the way that uh, iron doors and iron trap doors worked. So if we go over here and we right click on the iron door, you can see that the bob gets cast, and this is not what used to happen. What used to happen is the same thing that happens when you right click on a fence post, which is the fishing rod just wiggles around like that and nothing else happens. Now the important thing about this farm is that the iron trap door can open and close, which means then you would cast when this thing is open and you wouldn't when it's closed. Of course, that is now broken. So in order to get this to work, we have to use a fence post, but we've also got to use a sticky piston to move it up and down as well. So the farm works just like the previous one. You've got to aim at the fence post and right click. However, don't aim at the top half of the fence post. Aim at the bottom half and then the bob will be cast correctly. Before I show you how the redstone works, I do want to mention that the original design has a fishing rod dispenser and I haven't included this in the design over here. The reason why is because of mending. If you have mending on your rods then it will become self-sufficient and you won't need that system over there. But if it just so happens that you want to include it, build it like Panda has done over here and then where that piece of redstone is, what you want to do is just wire it back to over here, put a block there with the redstone on top of it, and then change this block right here to a slab, and that means that when the clock is activated, it will simply send a signal back to the dispensing system. So the redstone is actually really simple to understand because there is not a lot going on here. This is just a clock. You will see that the signal travels around through the repeaters, it gets inverted at this torch, and then it goes back round to the beginning again. Now the most important part of this circuit is this bit right here because the repeater and the torch both power the redstone down here which controls the piston. The reason that that is important is because when this repeater is turned on that's not when the piston gets activated. It's when the repeater gets turned off that there is a moment where this becomes unpowered and you can see the piston goes down and then up. So when your bob is cast into the water correctly it will activate the trip wire above it which will turn on these repeaters that go into that little bit of circuit meaning that the piston and the fence post stay exactly where they are which is exactly what we want. So we will start off by modifying Panda's original design because you may already have one of these in your world and you don't have to tear down the entire thing to fix it. So the first and most important thing is to put a glass block above the water and to make sure that that water has no other blocks than glass or something transparent all the way up to the sky and that means that the farm will operate slightly faster when it is set up like that. Now the next thing to do is to chip these two blocks away on either side and then we're going to go around the back and we're going to remove the iron door and immediately replace it with a fence post like that so that none of the water can flow out. And then what we're going to do is remove most of the blocks from the back here. I think one or two of them might be in the same position but basically we're going to be rewiring all of this so we're going to get rid of all of these blocks right here including the one below the fence post and this bit of redstone down here. So two blocks below our fence post we're going to place a sticky piston which is level with this hopper or with the ground and then behind it we will place two stone blocks, put two pieces of redstone on them and then up here a block and a torch on the side of it and then you need to provide an update to the piston so break that block and it will be extended. The next thing to do is to put two slabs into position so one of them is there the other one is right here and between them a block and those are for your repeaters. So the first one will be on the fourth setting going in this direction and then the second one in the second setting like that. The next thing to do is to put a block above the torch, two blocks over here and then a repeater here on the second setting. Then we need two more blocks, we're going to cover all of this in redstone like that and then another piece of redstone right here. So the farm will work like that but you may also want to put in a couple of extra blocks 
like this just to make it a little bit cleaner from the front so you don't see all the redstone at the back and accidentally click on anything and like I mentioned earlier if you want to wire this up to the dispenser at the front just put redstone on these blocks and then that will be wired up so now we're going to build the farm from scratch and to do so you're going to need the resources in this chest so feel free to pause the video and gather those resources what I'd recommend you start off by doing is placing a double chest in the ground this is where your items are going to go to and then four hoppers behind it like this they're all pointing into the one in front of them and then this block is where the player will stand when using the farm and we've also got a sticky piston in the ground facing upwards Next step, we're going to put four blocks in a row on that side and four blocks in a row on this side. And in the middle, we're going to put a hopper facing into the one down below it. And on this one, we're going to have it facing into the side. Then on top of the one in the middle, we will put a stone pressure plate behind it, a cobblestone wall. And then back here, just place a temporary block, put a fence post on top and remove that block. And then we're going to put stairs on this side, stairs on that side, put water in the middle. And then last of all, two blocks on this side and two blocks on that side. This next step will involve a lot of block placing, so just follow me. Two at the bottom, two on this side, two on that side, then come around to the front. We need a block in that space behind it, a slab and a slab over here as well, and then a block in that space, block off to this side over here. We need one at the top and then three on this side, like so, so three in a row. And then just make a U-shape like this, put a glass block in the middle, and I do believe we've placed all of the blocks successfully there. All of those blocks are correct, which means we can put in the redstone. So we're going to start off with a lever and power it. Behind it, a repeater on four ticks. The next one will be on two. And then down here, we're going to place two pieces of redstone dust. We need to give an update to that piston. And then up here, we're going to put a redstone torch. Then a piece of redstone, a repeater on the second setting. And then over here, some more redstone leading all the way back around to this side. And then the very last thing we need to do is put a tripwire hook on either side and a piece of string in the middle. So just tested this and it works. And I want to show you something very important. Don't aim at the top part of the fence post. Make sure you aim at the bottom part. And that way it works as you can see. And yeah, that's it for this tutorial. If you've enjoyed it, leave a like. As always, thank you for your support. There'll be a world download available in the description box and a link to Panda's original video as well, which you should check out as he is the creator of this farm. I've just patched it in this video. And that's it. So thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.